Writ Large is a freeform canvas that serves as a creativity support tool for electronic whiteboards and tablets using pen plus touch interaction. Its unique contribution is a continuous free-flowing style of interaction through unification of scope, action, and zoom. To indicate scope, the content creator just frames part of the canvas with their non-preferred hand. This evokes the zoom catcher, which illuminates an area for selection in an extremely lightweight manner. The user can then act in the strokes, such as to recognize, but only what areas the user wants and only when the user chooses to do so. The zoom catcher reveals itself by piggybacking on a familiar gesture, pinch to zoom, and as a result, it's largely self-explanatory. The user can grab things right away or adjust the angle, cast it in different directions, and fine tune its extent if necessary. Its coexistence with Zoom allows objects, large and small, to be brought within reach. By making indication of scope fast, simple, and clean, the Zoom catcher sets the stage for action. Commands appear at hand, locally, alongside the selection. For example, the user can go up one semantic level and recognize, as well as unrecognize, ink, or even drop down a level and work with the stroke points. Moves shift between flexible and reversible representations. Dropping images to the pixel level allows blending with the finger, rubbing away with the eraser, or cutting parts of the image away with the pen. These flexible representations comprise four axes of movement in the menus. In addition to semantic levels, there are structural levels, moving between freeform layout and organized grids. Temporal levels, which allow select strokes to be locally unstuck in time, as well as social levels, which allow pulling in inspirations from others by searching the web, as well as sharing between tablet and whiteboard. Taken together, these axes of movement, scoped easily to specific portions of the canvas, give the user rich ways to reinterpret and reflect in action with their content. This opens up scenarios, such as sketching out a table. It's only recognized when the user chooses to move up a semantic level. But they can just as easily drop down a level to modify the underlying strokes. Moving back up re-recognizes it, and the user may continue to work in this representation if desired. Lists offer another example. They exist only as ink, never recognized, unless the user moves up a semantic level. Or they can be elevated to checkboxes, dropped back down to ink, edited through markup, and then re-recognized now as diagram nodes with labels. Moving up one level along the structural axis groups them, and moving up one level more places them in a grid. Pen strokes within snap to grid as well. The zoom catcher integrates several other capabilities the user can drag through the context menu to create and place a duplicate, or bring selections into the fold of their palm by stroking through another menu. This fold serves as a clipboard at hand to conveniently transport objects far away. And the zoom catcher itself acts as an input filter and non-preferred hand mode switch, allowing pen gestures, such as lasso refinement of the selection. The user can organize even entire canvases into new storyboards. Or rework ideas from previous boards by overlaying them and transferring content to the current canvas. Taken as a whole, 
these techniques open new vistas for freeform content on electronic whiteboards and tablets in a unique way that affords unified scope, action, and zoom with pen plus touch and both hands in natural and complementary roles.